So which is going to be better at cleaning a bicycle chain? Petrol or Simple Green? Let's find out. As an all-purpose cleaner, Simple Green recommend one part of Simple Green to four parts of water, but we want it to clean and degrease a chain. And yes, they say it can be used as a degreaser. So we're going to make it stronger. One part Simple Green to one part water. And here's our chains. Both were waxed and both have done 300 kilometres worth of riding. So one in the Simple Green and one in the Petrol. Lids on and give them a decent shake. Let them stand for 24 hours and this is what it now looks like. And we take the chains out of their respective liquids. Now here's the petrol chain, and it's not as shiny as this chain for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's older, it's about 3,000 kilometres old, and it's due for a change soon, because this one's 1,000 kilometres. Secondly, this is from my mountain bike, and it's exposed to a lot more dirt and water conditions, and this one's from my road bike. So there's a few rust spots happening on this chain, but we're more concerned which one has been cleaned more thoroughly. Okay, so now this is the petrol one. And it's absolutely clean, no sign of any deposits left anymore, no wax in between the links, nothing. That's fine. Now over to the uh, simple green, and you can see, yep, there's definitely wax in between the links left. Lots of it. Pretty much every link has some wax in between. A little bit left in the pins there as well. And there's some of the inside here, you can see it on the inside of the link there. So, yeah, not as good. It didn't clean as good as the petrol. And if it's not as clean on the outside, it definitely won't be as clean on the inside either. So, looking at them both, first of all, the simple green, it has two advantages. First of all, it doesn't need to be degreased. So you don't need to put your chain in a degreaser after the simple green. It is a degreaser in itself and so you can just wash it out in water. The second thing is it's more environmentally friendly, whereas petrol is not. So two advantages of the simple green. But the petrol definitely cleans the chain better, even though it needs the degreaser afterwards, because petrol leaves a slight, very thin, oily film behind on your chain or whatever you clean, and that needs to be removed, especially if you're waxing your chain. So it does need to be degreased after and then washed out with water. And it's also not as environmentally friendly as the Simple Green, of course, but it does have one little aspect to it. You can reuse petrol. Because it's so potent, you can use it again and again. Just tip out the dirt or pour off the good petrol and leave the dirt, and you can reuse it again. Whereas the Simple Green loses its potency. So this is how much you waste. Hardly any. And this is what's left over. That's how much you save and you can use again. Heaps. Pretty much three to four times the amount. Now, there's different ways of disposing of petrol, but because it's such a small amount, you can just leave it out in the fresh air to evaporate and it leaves the dirt in the bottom and you can just wipe it out with a cloth or a tissue. All ready to use again. Now, in case you're wondering about these nice little containers, they're actually beetroot straining containers, so they come with a strainer like that. Of course, you don't need that. But the lids are nicely fitting, nicely tight fitting, and they've got little snap locks like that. So make sure whatever container you use has got a nice tight lid. So if you want, you can just use glass jars. Here's a glass jar. Uh, a wide opening helps, and a lid that fits really snug. So that's all you need. So which one does just the better clean? It's petrol.
Must be that time of the day.